staying safe and sound. Good to hear. Well, you're officially the new night guard for this old establishment, so congrats. The staff here often call me employee number three, but you can call me Craig. Pleased to meet you. Now, I assume you read all the terms and conditions and all of that, right? Nah, to be honest, I don't read those long paragraphs either. <laughs> Uh, let's just assume you did, so we can get straight to the important information you'll actually need to know, shall we? This place was left to rot for a few years, and as you probably already know, we've been working on renovating it. It should be safe and ready to open in a few weeks, so it's important for you to keep an eye on the building to make sure that everything stays in one piece. To do so, just flip up the cameras next to your desk and click the buttons on the map, but you probably already knew that. Uh, also, before you came along, we had another guard here that quit, but he did leave plenty of useful information, so lucky you, right? Now, according to his notes, the most important thing you need to keep an eye on, more so than burglars, are the animatronics. And he's right, to an extent. Uh, the thing with them is, their facial recognition systems never acted properly during the night, and since they've been deactivated for so long, it's probably made it impossible for them to detect you as a human. So, let's say they theoretically find a way inside your office. They'll most likely see you as, well, a piece of tubby toast. It sounds stupid, I know, but it's just the way they're programmed. The thing with that is, though, it's not exactly funny because if they detect you as such, they'll most likely try to stuff you inside the tubby toaster. Again, it is only a theory. A ridiculous sounding theory, but a theory nonetheless. And now, the guard also said that each of the animatronics, animatronics, tubby bots, the company calls them, they behave differently from one another. So tonight, you'll most likely be seeing two active ones. If you look on your monitor, on camera 2A, there's a red tubby bot named Poe, and in camera 5, there's a yellow tubby bot named Lala. And now listen up, because this is very important information. The guard said that Poe likes to loop around the bottom of the building, and she'll most likely enter your office through that big open door on the right. Now, Poe is blind, and she can't detect your face, but she's been acting kind of twitchy recently, and she can sense you if you move around too much. So, if Poe should enter your office, just flip down your cameras and don't move. Eventually, she'll walk away as if you're invisible. Now, about Lala. You might have noticed that she doesn't have a head, but her systems are in shockingly good condition. She'll most likely try to get to your office through the left wing, so if you see her in camera alpha, I'd close that door right away. You might only have a few seconds to react, though. Uh, oh, right, the doors. Uh, unfortunately, due to budget cuts, we can't exactly have a closing door on the right side, but it shouldn't be too big of a problem if you follow the guard's advice. Uh, oh, that also extends to the power supply. We only have a limited amount of power for the night, so the more stuff you keep turned on, the more the consumption will likely overload, so don't let that happen. Uh, well, that should be it. So, good luck, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good night.